All right, I am uh, on the uh, floor of Artist Alley. It's uh, busy here. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm with Zach Kaplan. It's only Thursday too. It's only gonna get more busy. It's I, I I know that's it's it's getting back into the swing of things. It's, it's a murderous row of talent. I've, I've never even I've been in this I think my third or fourth New York Comic Con. It is uh, so many amazing creators here. Yeah. So um, <laughs> so let's talk about the uh, Metal Society. I mean, yeah. I, I remember it came out uh, last year. Or, no, Metal Society came out for this, beginning of this yeah, year of this because year. we ran an. Ex- I, yeah, I believe we ran an exclusive. That came out this year. Metal Society came out. I want to say May, mm-hmm. and uh, we just wrapped the series and issues. Issue five just came out, and then the the, the trade paperback is going to be coming out in November. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know if you guys know Metal Society. It's a futuristic. A story: Robots have taken over. Humanity's blown our shop. Big surprise! And then uh, uh, they bring back humans to do the jobs they don't want to do. And it's this young woman, Rosa, who's going to face off against a robot in MMA style boxing fight. So it's uh, it's Rocky meets Blade Runner. And uh, yeah, really excited that the trade's coming uh, in November. So everybody's been waiting to to binge it. They can read it all at once. So what was kind of the inspiration for you know the series? You know, it was kind of twofold. I mean, we all kind of hear that technology is coming to replace us, so we always hear like robots are going to come take our job. And uh, it was it was a little bit of interest exploring that. It was a little bit I saw a, a, a UFC or a, a MMA boxing fight with Conor McGregor and Khabib uh, several years ago, and I, I found out how politically charged it was. And I found that really fascinating, and and it it all just kind of. It stems from watching tribalism infect our society and how we're more divided than ever. And so I thought that robots versus humans was kind of a great allegory to explore all of that. Um, and it, I, I did gorgeous artwork by Guilherme Baldi, Marco Lesko, and Letters by Tori Pateri. They really bring to life the, the, the humans and the robots. So it's a really gorgeous book. Um, this is issue one right here, and just to show you guys. It's really some, some amazing artwork. So, yeah, super, super excited to have it coming out in trade. And now, is it a limited series? It or is. Okay. Five issues. Uh, five issues all in, yeah. So, I, or, so no more stories or just kind of? No, buy it, enjoy it. It's definitely, <laughs> uh, for those of you who have read issue five, it definitely ends in a very, uh, what I hear, very satisfying, very <laughs> powerful, very, very, end. There, there's an ending. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, not one of those, hey, maybe we'll do more. This is this uh, complete story all this, about this fight drama and the characters uh, of this human and this robot and kind of what they're experiencing being pitted against each other uh, in this kind of sci-fi future landscape. And I see you have uh, more of your stuff on your table. Can yeah. You, uh, what, do you, what do you have? <laughs> this, this is uh, also one of my really uh, books I'm excited with them because I do the can over this way. I'm with John Pearson. John, wait a minute. Wait, hello. John is the artist on Mindset. <laughs> we're, doing a, we're doing a video. Uh, Mindset came out from Bulk Comics uh, just in June. We're at three issues out. It's a mind control techno thriller, uh, kind of a David Fincher esque story. And it's about a bunch of grad students that accidentally discover mind control, put it in a meditation app to help free people of their addiction to technology. And then a billion people start using it. They realize we're not helping people. We're controlling them, and uh, it's just gorgeous artwork. And uh, yeah, this has been a, a really uh, a wonderful series to bring to to everybody. Uh, and so, um, yeah, it's uh, three issues in. I think another issue comes out in a couple of weeks. There's six issues in all. Another uh, uh, self-contained uh, mini series. And then I've got Breakout from uh, Dark Horse. That was a, a, a series that came out in. Um, March or April, and we've got three issues out of that. Forever Forward from Scouts. So yeah, I was, I was uh, busy this year. Four, <laughs> four new series. So, yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, is there anything else? Where can people find you on social media? Yeah, I'm on Zach Caps, Z A C K K B S, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, I'm here at the convention, uh, on and off. If I'm not floating around saying hi to <laughs> friends, I'm here at the table, and definitely come say hi. And uh, if you're not. If you're not enjoying New York Comic Con, then uh, sorry you guys missed out, but find me online. How does it feel to be back at uh, at shows? Have you been it's, doing them on a regular? I have. This is yeah, I did dive in and I started doing them, and it's it's surreal and great. This one is especially exciting because there's just so many amazing creators here. So it's really and a lot of us have all been talking on 
social media and now finally getting to put faces. I mean, I, I've got to meet John here since the first time we've been working on mindset together for a year or more. So, uh, yeah, it feels really great to be back, great to, to, to connect with readers and, and see everyone enjoy coffee. So, yeah, it's awesome. Well, it's great to touch base with you, yes, and thank thanks you so for uh, taking the time to uh, chat and let us uh, let us know Comic Watch if you ever have anything, or if you ever want to, you know, we, uh, a couple of our people do a show, and they'd love to have creators on. So, well, thank you for uh, the time, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show, thank which is coming three more days, four more days. Just get started. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks. Everybody.